It's Weather 101 time. Today's topic is weather versus climate. Class is in session. But before we get to that, it's time to calculate your final grades for the year. You completed a total of 30 assignments with grades ranging from the low 60s, ouch, you should have studied more for that one, to a solid 100. When we take the average of all the assignments, we're left with a final score of 86 for the year. Nice job. You know, how we calculate your final score is a lot like how we calculate weather averages, also known as climatology. You see, your grades are like the weather or the outdoor environment that you experience every day. Weather can change drastically from one day to the next. Climate, on the other hand, is the average of all the weather you experience, kind of like your final grade in class. For example, 4th of July in New York City. To find out the average high temperature for this day, we need to look at every high temperature over the past 30 years, add them all up, and divide by 30. 85 is the climatological average high for this day in New York, but it's not necessarily going to be the temperature you'll feel on that day. That's why climate is what you can expect, but weather is what you get.